I really like the website Creative Fabrica, and I'm a proud ambassador for their products. They offer bundles, discounts, freebies, and lots and lots of digital designs that are perfect for print-on-demand, digital cutting, or any crafting project. Now, most people who've been on Creative Fabrica know about the bundles because their eyes light up like my cats when the treat bag comes out, and the bundles are awesome. However, Creative Fabrica is so big that there are hidden gems in the website that not many people know about. So welcome to the Secret Society, and let's take a look at five hidden gems inside Creative Fabrica. Hidden gem number one is the discount section. Here you can get bundles and fonts for about $1, but hold on. The really cool thing is that this changes every week. Yes, next week there will be a bunch of new items in there. You can even scroll down and see what's coming up so you can save your pennies. Hidden gem number two are t-shirt, apparel, and product mock-ups. Now a mock-up is just a picture of a product with no design, and then you can plop your design on top of the blank design so that you can list your thumbnail on a website or Etsy or wherever you're selling your product. So this really helps your customers visualize what the design for sale would look like on an actual product, and it gives you a leg up on the competition. This is very helpful if you're selling digital designs as well. So on Creative Fabrica, you just type mock-up into the search bar and about 60,000 results come back. It's a great way to kill five or six hours. Hidden gem number three, coloring book pages. If you need clean black and white images, Creative Fabrica fits the bill. These are awesome resources. To find these on Creative Fabrica, on the main page, hover over graphics and then select either coloring books adults or coloring book kids. And yes, every single item on Creative Fabrica comes with a commercial license. So if you need a print-on-demand license, you just click the POD license button and it will walk you through how it works. It's usually a little bit more expensive, about a dollar more. Hidden gem number four, KDP interiors. One of the big passive income streams that lots of people like is what is known as a low content book. And a low content book just means that the book is not a novel or it's not a long non-fiction book filled with text. It's just a book filled with utility stuff like a day planner or a blank sketchbook or a coloring book, for example. It's low content, meaning that it does not take a ton of time and energy to create the interior. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, and basically it's an easy way for regular people like you and me to publish books through Amazon, which is one of the world's largest online booksellers. Now to find KDP products, just hover over graphics and scroll down to KDP Book Interiors. Before we jump into the last hidden gem, here are pictures of my cats as I explain that I'll put the link to Creative Fabrica in the video description. The link is an affiliate link, which means if you click on that link and buy something, I would receive a small commission. Okay, hidden gem number five, dingbat fonts. Now, who are you calling a dingbat? Actually, a dingbat font is a font that has symbols and shapes in the font itself. And so there's a font that has positions and inside those positions that are designated for alphabetical or numeric characters, there's symbols. So you can essentially draw an easy graphic with a keystroke as if you were typing a letter of the alphabet. All right, check this out. I'm on Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna type into the little search window, dingbats. All right, we get these dingbat fonts. There's 960 of them. I'm actually gonna click on this little dingbat's arrow. I like the idea of having some hand-drawn arrows. And it's very easy because I can just use the dingbat's font. So here's a bunch of different arrows. I'm gonna click the download button and I'm going to download the font. Now I can extract the zip file. There's just a couple in here, dingbat's arrow number one. And we can see here, there's lots of cool arrows. I can just click the install button. It's gonna install. I can also just click the dingbat's arrow number one, and there's other arrows here. Again, other hand-drawn arrows, very cool. 
and I'll just click the install button right there. I can, I can uh, open up Notepad and I could start typing things like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a bunch of different characters and then change the font. I can go font. I'll just make the font larger as well so we can see it. So there's the fonts there. But how do I know which font is which? Like if I type A and then I type B and C and D and E and F, and it's like, yikes, how do I determine which ones? I don't want to memorize all of this. So there's a cool feature right in Creative Fabrica. And in Creative Fabrica, right over here under Tools, there's a thing here called Font Cloud. I'm going to click on that. So the nice thing here is that Font Cloud is completely free. I'm going to click Open Font Cloud. And now I can simply drop my font right into the left hand side. So I'm going to click the browse button here and pick my font. Okay, so I've uploaded my fonts. Now I've got a ton here already on here. So I could scroll through and I could look for dingbats. It's all alphabetized. Or I could simply just search here at the top dingbat and I'm going to pick dingbats arrow. It now loads right in. So I've got a couple options here that's really nice. I can type something into the top. I could type a phrase and it will give me the equivalent back in the font. Now because it's dingbats, it's going to be quite hard to read obviously because these are all symbols. But I could just type in a letter and it shows me what it is. Here's the other thing I like though. Let's say I want to use this arrow here, a little squiggly. I simply click him and watch right at the top. It just says character copied to clipboard. So if I do that and now I open up notepad and I just paste that gives me the actual character right there. So if you're working in Word, PowerPoint, uh, Inkscape, Photoshop, you can simply just copy and paste the actual hand-drawn arrow. This is a great tool. I absolutely love using Font Cloud because it's so easy. All you do is just simply click it, it copies it to the clipboard, and then you can open up any other application and just paste and move along with your graphic design. I really hope you enjoyed this video. There's a million, billion, trillion items on Creative Fabrica and you don't have to just look at the bundles, although they are pretty awesome. Thanks for watching and here's another crafty video for your enjoyment.